Hey guys, it's Logan coming at you from Hunting Pros, and today I'm going to do a short review on the MSR Superfly Camp Stove. Alright guys, so here's a closer look at this particular product. As you can tell, it's very small, lightweight, and can easily fit into a backpack. Another nice feature about it is that these actually collapse on the top. So it makes it much easier for you to actually put it in a backpack without being poked from multiple angles. Um, as you can see here, you can adjust the valve to determine how, much, how large of a flame you want. Um, and before you assemble it, you want to make sure that it's completely turned off. Okay, so prior to attaching this particular product to the fuel canister, I'm going to shed light on one particular issue. And that's the fact that many people online have been saying that the MSR Superfly will attach to any conventional fuel canister. Now, I can't 100% vouch for this because I'm not 100% sure whether or not it would attach. I do know that it does appear that it would. Um, but I'd recommend doing a little bit of research before you attach it to anything other than an MSR Isopro fuel canister. So in order to attach this to the fuel canister you see in front of you, you're first going to want to remove the tab off the top, or the cap. And you can do that just by pulling on it. From here, I typically spread the blades on top. You're going to want to make sure that um, the valve is completely sealed and shot or shut. Um, so that no access fuel can leak out. And you're going to want to make sure that this here is completely screwed to the top so that it can actually go over the lip of the canister. And in order to do that, you just spin it like this. And as you can see, that's going up. Once you're all the way to the top, you just slide it over like so, and now you screw it down. Now you have a tight fit. So once you have your stove set up, in order to ignite the flame, um, all you have to do is turn on the valve here so that you hear the fuel coming out. And then just take a barbecue lighter. I use a barbecue lighter usually, just so that I don't risk burning my hands. Um, and you just ignite it like so. And as you can see, you can adjust the flame here, put it down to a simmer setting, which is really nice. So here I have a liter of water. Um, I read online that it should boil within approximately three minutes. So we're gonna put it on and see how long it takes to boil. And that is MSR cookware. Really nice little setup. I'm gonna put it up to a max setting. We'll just see how long that takes to boil. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I am gonna point out one nice thing about this little stove, and it's the fact that the flame's very evenly distributed along the bottom of the pot. Okay, so we're past the 15 minute mark, um, and the water started boiling right around 15 minutes. Um, I am going to point out a couple things. First of all, my fuel tank's getting pretty low on fuel. Um, second of all, the water that we used for the boil test was actually pretty cold. There was some ice in it because I left it out all night. And third of all, we have quite a bit of wind here, so the flames have been getting blown around. Uh, but anyway, um, as you can see, the water is boiling pretty nice there. And I'm gonna make up a nice cup of tea here on the back of my truck. I like a strong tea, so I'm gonna put two bags in there, orange pico. I'm just gonna grab my pot here. And to turn off the stove, all you do is turn the valve off, like so. And there you have it, the MSR Superfly.